Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about, you guessed it, hair extensions. <laughs> and um, this time I am going to be applying, I'm sorry, I think you guys are crooked. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to be applying tape in hair extensions to my hair. If you can see the length of my hair right now is maybe, maybe you can see quarter of an inch, half an inch, which is probably about the same length as this sticky part here on the tape and hair extensions. So these are some really pretty ombre extensions and how I'm going to apply them is I am just going to make a line back and then I'm going to add a few here kind of in a brick layer and I will show you how I do that. So if you are interested, Stick around and I will get so started. What you'll need, obviously, are the tape and hair extensions. I get mine off of Amazon. I will link these below. This is the first time I've gotten this brand, so I will let you know how I like them. Um, but for now, I will link them below. And you will also need a rat tail comb. Um, even though my hair is so short and I can't necessarily part it, I can use it to help kind of pull hair up and also to pull stray hairs away. And I will show you as I do it. Um, I'm going to try to show you as much as I can, but I also have to be able to look in the mirror because I really don't want to mess this up. So it comes with these little um, tabs on the back that you just pull off um, like a sticker. I don't know. You just pull them off and then it's just the sticky part. Sorry. My children are screaming. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's fine. So I'm going to figure out where I want my part to be because it's going to be kind of like what you, um, would make like as an invisible part if you were doing like a quick weave. And so I am kind of trying to make a little bit of a part and I'm not going to start way down here. I'm going to start back probably about a half an inch or so, and I'm going to start right about here and press down. So that's it. That's, that's where that first one is going and there ain't no going back because once it's stuck down, it's stuck down. So um, any piece from now on cannot go any farther over. It has to go at least here or over more, which I won't go over anymore. Um, so now what I do is I lift it up and if you can see, there's some hairs that are stuck to it. And you don't want there to be tons. You kind of want to pull some of them off that aren't like really stuck on their good because you don't, you don't want there to be too many. I don't know if you can even really tell. And then you take another piece and you're gonna make a sandwich. It's probably neither. Okay, and then you're gonna make sure that you line these two things up so that it makes a perfect sandwich. So I'm gonna lean forward so I can see in the mirror better. Okay, and then you're going to squish them together and push down. They're almost gonna be, it's almost gonna stand straight up like that and that's okay, it will lay flat in a second. Just pushing it down. Okay guys, so here I'm just gonna continue the process of applying each extension sandwich farther and farther back on my head. And um, as you can see, it's just the exact same process, nothing changes. And um, when I get towards the end, I do put a few on the sides, but um, it's all pretty much the same technique.
Okay, so at this point, I pretty much have them all in and I'm just checking to make sure there's no gaps anywhere. And I did wind up going to my friend Rebecca's house to have her cut and style it a little bit and also give me more of a defined part on the side. And I will insert a picture at the end to show you how it came out. I think it came out pretty good. And um, of course, she always works her magic. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.